otherwise, everyone's toxic until proven otherwise. I mean, we're all loaded with these chemicals. And I say that because they're everyday chemicals. They're BPA from canned foods and they're, you know, phthalates and perfumes and fragrances that we, you know, like and spray on. If you're working out, you might be exposed to some PFAS in, in the stretchy material or in your raincoat. I can tell you that I think drinking water is actually probably the most unrecognized contributors to human health problems because none of us really understand, I didn't either, the understand the water system in the U.S. Bad. And I think once we start to understand the old infrastructure that manages the water that we supposedly will end up drinking in our public system, once we understand how outdated, it's from 1974 Safe Drinking Water Act, that nothing's changed when, since then when they've only regulated, or I should say, managed, me measured, and re you know, fixed 91 chemicals. When we have over 100,000 that can get into our water system and do, which becomes drinking water in our water system. So any filtration, I always say, is better than no filtration. It's so much cheaper even to get something more aggressive called a reverse osmosis water filtration, whether it's on the countertop of your kitchen or whether you get it installed by a plumber underneath, which is much more convenient. Ever be drinking 